The way that songs are written now, a lot of pop production is, is definitely the, the most like um, adventurous and exciting and like for me personally just listening to the radio, listening to like you know, hearing the production on a Selena Gomez song or like a Sia song or, or a Miley Cyrus song and, and using technology to your advantage, not, not just having everybody in a room and using that rad vintage amp and vintage guitar and everything that you know sounds great, but really just like using all those elements to write the best song. And this sixth record could be a very easy intro into Cold War Kids. I think it's almost kind of like designed that way to really put that sound in cement forever on L.A. Divine. Wilshire protest, that was one that I wrote, like going to a protest a few days after the election that was starting in Koreatown in Los Angeles, walking on Wilshire towards downtown and just getting to watch people in Los Angeles interact in a way that you almost never see because they don't really have cause to in, in the way that we're either you know in traffic in our cars or um, I think there was this excitement around just being together and going like oh we needed to do this more because you can't just like something on Facebook and have the same experience as you can when you're around a whole bunch of cultures and types of people with different ideas and finding what you have in common. It's not true but it's kind of I think attractive for people to believe that like bad things don't happen in LA. It's a, it's a storybook fairy tale city. There's a beautiful side of that. People look to Los Angeles uh, for their stories and, um, and for fiction to pull us out of the harsh realities of the world. But then there's also a, a, a kind of a plastic side of that. Part of the one thing about L.A. Divine that I think you know I wanted to touch on is that it's a backdrop to say something bigger about colder kids, about the country, about this time, and about L.A. in a major time of transition. And um, it's so much better to go through life feeling like we're always making progress. In that minute, when you when you when you are struck with like. Oh, we're not going forward right now. You know, it's a terrible feeling, and you need to kind of uh, recognize that in the music. <laughs>